you know, sneakers right now, it's a funny place. It's an interesting landscape and if you create within this space, you have to pick your battles wisely. Understand what violence you may choose and know that you have to deal with everything that comes from it. Now, if you can handle that well, awesome. I don't know that I'm bringing the whole mid discussion here. I just don't think I'm, I'm not venturing there. Okay. I had to give a PSA on Instagram. If you know the post I'm talking about, then we can engage there. But listen, the mid talk is honestly becoming exhausting. No, today, <laughs> um, let's just discuss real quick something that unfolded this week. Now it happened earlier in the week versus when you're viewing this, but nonetheless, other videos were slated to drop before this one. Billie Eilish. Okay, we know a uh, world-renowned recording artist. Uh, I'm a fan of her music, and I love that she is so unapologetic with her style and the way she maneuvers um, kind of through the industry. She received two Jordan collaborations, okay? Two, which is major and awesome for her. One being the Jordan 15, one being the Air Jordan 1 knockoff, and... You know, this is, you've heard the term like stay out of grown folks business. Okay. I won't say to guys like, Hey, stay out of women's business and sneakers. I'll not say that because women for far too long, we've had to play in men's business for sneakers because we were always sized out and sizes just weren't available for us. Or, Hey, it was only marketed to men. Women know how to convert sizes. I guess none of the men really understood that. And it did not go well on release day. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back. Another video talks with TJ, AKA TJ2 Swoosh, T-Yeezy, 2 tj ma 2 tj Thank you again so much for tuning in to another video. And I guess let's just throw another disclaimer out there. Understand this is not, of course, like a target at anybody. Like if you were a guy and you accidentally either hit the wrong size or you just never purchased a women's shoe before, Listen, this is a learning experience. We've all been burned before accidentally picking a wrong size. Sometimes you think you know your size until you cross over into a different brand and a different model. And then it's vastly different. Like for myself, for a true conversion, and we'll get into that a little bit, a true conversion for me being a, a, a women's seven and a half means a lot of shoes, a six in men's or grade school, it should fit me. That's not always the case. It's not how it always works out based on the way my foot may be shaped or the way the shoe is shaped itself. I often have to size up to a six and a half. And I'll tell you guys that in videos that it may be recommended you go true to size, but based on my foot, I may have to settle for a half size up just so the sides of my feet maybe don't feel uncomfortable in any way. Yeah. Um, so on Monday, right? Like this was kicking off the week, like real spicy on Twitter. And the Billie Eilish pairs dropped. So again, the 15 and then the Jordan one knockoff. And like, I know there are people that toy around with the name because it says KO, but that was really Jordan brand, like taking a shot, a petty jab at other brands that were knocking off the Air Jordan one silhouette and making it their own thing. And I mean, bravo to Jordan brand. It's okay to be a little petty sometimes. Like sometimes, you gotta act your shoe size, <laughs> like sometimes it's okay. So that's, you know, that's where that name came from also. And she chose the 15 and that she went through a whole story of how the 15 is the model she fell in love with for Jordans ever since she knew what a Jordan silhouette was. And I commend her picking a silhouette that's not the most loved or hyped. Um, now, did I go for it? Let's just address that. No, like neither pairs were pairs I wanted in my collection. Like I have an all Volt shoe right now that I'm probably going to donate because I just don't wear it anymore and with the 15 no it's personally not a sneaker that i really care for in style so i thought why not leave that for someone else especially another woman who wears my size that will be able to enjoy it like i really wanted that for another woman so i totally sat this one out a lot of men did not sit this one out though. Now, some men didn't sit this out because you were very excited. Maybe you're a big fan of the Billie Eilish's music. Maybe you're a fan of her in general. Maybe you really love the 15. You love that neutral tone. You love the knockoff. You love that bright tone, right? We had two vastly different models and also like color palettes and tones, but they def they held attraction for people. 
And then some men, I already know, you just went for it to try to resell it. Or to flex and then try to resell it. Either way, some of you didn't understand that this sneaker was in women's sizing. And for all of 2021, any sneaker in women's sizing, like especially a women's Jordan collab, it's sized for women. That is put out there. It's usually on the box as well. So, and people pointed that out, like it, it's set for women. Well, there are, there, there's this other epidemic, you know, that happens on, um, the internet people don't read or if they read they don't comprehend it's just the truth so too many people didn't read that it was in women's sizing so you got a size and now you're just left saying hey anybody want a women's five six <laughs> like, what were you gonna do with that shoe yeah double homicide <laughs> no, i'm sorry I need to know, what were you going to do with that shoe? So this is just a quick little lesson, right? First off, you can always check out my women's sizing conversion video here on YouTube. I will absolutely link it below, link it in the cards. This video is almost at 100,000 views and that it's probably my most watched video, which is crazy. Um, now I put the video out to be as helpful as possible for women. Here's also I'm learning. I'm learning this though. Men, I can't, I will, I, of course, this is not universal to all men, clearly, so just let's not internalize that. But for the men who didn't read that this was in women's sizing, um, equally, there are women that hop on that, that video and they don't watch the video in full or they don't pay attention to the timestamps or even the pinned comment because I say like, hey, here is how you convert your size. You take your women's size, you subtract 1.5. That will give you the general conversion for your men's size, okay? Vice versa, this is the same for men. Go up 1.5 from what your size is to equal a women's sneaker. Now, once you start to play around with conversions, you may have to play around with them even more in terms of the specific model for your foot. Another example for Air Force Ones, and I state this in that sizing video, a lot of Air Force Ones for us, we have to go, in general people, a half size down. Just because Air Force Ones tend to run rather big. Some people go a whole size down. So even in the video, I say, hey, women, if you're a seven and a half in women's, okay? You would size down to a six for most sneakers if you have to convert to men's or boys because men's and GS run congruent together in sizing. If you are going for Air Force One, there's a chance you could have to go down another half size, which means you would go down two whole sizes. It's not always for that for every person, but just be aware it can happen. And for other models, it may be the same thing. You, sneakers is not like universal as much as we want to believe it is. It's just not. You have to keep playing around with different models and different sizes. Like the Air Jordan 11 Low. I don't have any in my collection right now. I got rid of all of them because little did I know, I actually needed to size up to a, a GS7 for it to fit comfortably in every way, shape, and form. It's why I don't have any now. I would love to get some now in my collection that I know what size I, I am for it. So you may see some 11 Lows hit the channel um you know given time and given a model uh mod well i shouldn't say a model a colorway that i really want but it was just interesting to see men like very just lost about the sizing canceling orders and women we've been dealing with this okay we know we have to convert our size otherwise we don't stand a chance we have to convert our size too many pairs are never put in women's sizing you see that now more and more with air jordan one lows that will be in men's women's and kids which is great i absolutely love it i don't know if that's going to be the norm moving forward i would certainly hope so but Woo, this is a learning experience for some people. So again, just helpful. If you're a woman, you have to convert your size, go down a size and a half. If you're a man, you have to convert your size, go up a size and a half, but that's not gonna be a concrete answer for everything. Sometimes you may have to go up more. It just, it depends, but congrats to everyone who got the shoe who really wanted the shoe to wear to enjoy or as a gift um i know parents you guys were catching hell trying to get this shoe if your daughter especially is a really big fan of billy eilish or even maybe if your son is a really big fan of billy billy eilish i know parents were just 
you guys were in the thick of it and you know i hope that you're still able in some way to get the shoe if it, if it was for your child and you're really trying to bless them with the gift um to anyone that got them listen rock them enjoy them i know there will be a later release date on sneakers and good luck thoughts and prayers for you there uh, but this was just, this was an interesting way to start the week. Again, you're not seeing this until later on, but whew. so hopefully you have a good rest of your week. Be sure to tune in to other videos. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. Hopefully I just helped someone out just in terms of the sizing. Like you gotta, you gotta read, man. Reading is fundamental and it saves your pockets. All right. Act your age and not your shoe size. Peace out.